know the truth. Yeah, that's why I'm here. The more videos I do watch, the more absurd the, the bowl yeah. is kind of ridiculous loop of space is. It's fat. Look at Matt, Matthew Powerland, saw his interview with his girlfriend. Uh, he said it was inside, he was drawing these things. I said, that can't be. Then I went to a flat earth conspiracy, Eric Today, which really blocked me in. But then I said, this cannot be. You, you try to shake it. Because you just, you just, your mind. And then I got uh, Mark Sargent's flat earth clues in there. <laughs> And that was it, as a headshot. It was all over. Hello to everybody from Seattle. The Flat Earth Pacific Northwest group is here. And we're all looking out at the beautiful Puget Sound. Totally flat water. Yes! <laughs> to open up the firmament so we can be free. It's, it's all very, uh, it, it's interesting. It's like the rep will never end. It gets darker and darker. The more I learn, the more my head is blown, and the more I feel. I, I I feel liberated. I feel totally liberated. I feel happy. I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. It's like the idea that anyone can have the absolute truth and the authority to tell someone, you know, like, that's kind of his thing, you know. He's like, oh, yeah, opinions don't matter. I can tell you what the truth is and you can't argue about it. And to me, it's just kind of too arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, the, well, that, that, yeah, that line that he used, uh, science is right, whether you believe in it or not. Yeah. I'm going, oh, dude, don't ever get in a room with me. Hey! Hi. How are you? Whatever you want. Hi. Can you give it to your server? Yeah. I first heard about Flat Earth when I heard about uh, B.O.B., the rapper, he came out and said some things, made some statements, and it was really hot in the hip-hop world, uh, it was a hot news item. So when I first heard it, and he hearing it, you know, be uh, put with other conspiracy theories, at first, like, I was really turned off because I was like, no, this is insane, and I don't want it to ruin the credibility of other truth movements. Um, but uh, I've gone down the rabbit hole a lot of times and have learned a lot of things, so I'm open-minded, and I said, you know, why not watch a video? And when was that that you found? Oh, back in January, I think. January. Yeah, like a, like towards the end of January, um, I heard about it and I saw saw a couple videos. Totally mind blowing, and it made sense. You know, it yeah. made sense of the things that I perceive. Like this whole time, science has been trying to tell me that my common sense is wrong. You know that you know I need their tools, their expertise, their degrees to know. Yeah. Yeah. All of the math for the ISS. It's all, you know, like all the statistics. They shown it, it all works out to some math formula. It's not like there's no variation, it's just like that number. Yeah. Yeah. It's tricky, and I mean, now NASA looks so fake to me now, it's almost comical. Yeah. So I'm just, yeah, I'm grateful for people uh, like, you know, people in the Flat Earth Movement, like Mark Sargent and everyone uh, that is enlightening us because uh, you guys are pretty brave doing that and to face the adversity that comes out. But we all got to speak our truth for sure. Right. What would you like to add to that? Um, well, I agree. Like, I'm. Uh, this took me kind of by surprise, and it wasn't long, like a few days before I was deep into it. Um, I'm a full believer now, and I, and I agree that you, like people like you, Sasha and Mark, are encouraging others to kind of come out in the open. And I feel like I'm reaching that point now where I can actually talk to people about it. <laughs> that is the big hurdle for sure. And I've introduced about half a dozen people into the flat earth theory, and half of those were very receptive to
There's two families here that have small kids. And so I'm giving out two small t shirts. This is what they say. Fair. Fair. Sorry, here. Oh, that's the And that one right there. Yeah, well, they weren't for the children. They were originally for Patricia because she's that small. So we're giving them away to the kids. Because Patricia doesn't wear anything that's not made with actual gold sequins. Well, And I, I wore it in the satellite videos, which were the first videos that I did that were really about the flat earth, and they're the, really the ones that took off. So you also have like some kind of little girl pink dress? It's, I don't, I think it's girlish. I don't think it's a little girl. I don't I don't know. Know. Mostly I list and I don't watch, so that's why I don't remember. But yeah, I, I do the, I think that it's sad that in order to be taken seriously, we have to de-emphasize our femininity. And so I'm trying to say, just because I'm curvy, just because I like girly things, it doesn't mean I'm not smarter because I have the average science guy that you're willing to listen to and follow into oblivion. So that's kind of my ethos, is I, let's break the mold and say we can be however we want to be and judge my ideas instead of my dress or my cleavage or whatever else, right? So that's why I wear the princess dress. <laughs> Oh yeah. Can you see the oh, yeah. oh. There are both. There's chocolate mousse and vanilla cupcake. Here are the cupcakes. There is eight to seven. Eight to seven. Three nights, three nights, full nights, eight to ten hours, and it's so boring. And I keep trying to make it less boring, and I keep trying to add different things and different effects. Your speech. It's like you got water on like the inside of this. You think so? That's what was going on. He sat me down and said, he was a little hesitant for the first time ever, and he's like, you should watch this. And I was definitely a skeptic at first, and I just, I didn't say anything, I just kind of let it soak in, and I went home and I watched more videos and then started binging like everyone else really did. <laughs> um, and I guess that's it. Perfect! That's great! What was your introduction to the flat earth? We'll, Just we'll take a peek. Looking around, and then I believe it was a, a flat earth video on it. And the moment I saw it, it's like, what? I had known all my life about the stars never moving. What? Same thing? It was like right there. What was it? Like, nice to know the truth. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm here, because yeah. I heard Mark Sargent on posting up some afternoon and when I actually was at night okay. and I was looking up the word firmament for, for a book I was writing and I was like what the hell is a firmament and I had never heard that word after 25 years of the church and then I was listening to Coast to Coast and I heard firmament and I was like what and then it, the next word was flat earth and I was like so um, I am a fan of uh, Kent Hovind. Um I don't agree with everything he says, but I do respect the man a lot. And uh, he's been doing questionnaires, he answers questions on his YouTube channel. And uh, five days in a row, five different videos in a row, the flatter the questions came up. And, uh, you know, he, he sneered at it and laughed at it, and I kind of agree with it too. And I was like, this again, alright, whatever. But uh, fourth day in a row, I said, you know what? I'm gonna watch a documentary on it, and I gotta give it a shot. It keeps coming up, right? And I did, and uh, I believe it was an Eric Bay video that started the trip, yeah. and uh, I was hooked ever since. It made so much sense, you know. Uh, Mark's videos were, I think, my third video series that I watched, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Nice. I'm not going back. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty obvious now. Right? <laughs> And the more videos I do watch, the more absurd the, the ball is kind of ridiculously through space is. I, I listen to Coast to Coast all the time, and it was about time, I think it was about in November. 
when the Stanley Kubrick uh, Moon Hoax came out, the, the, the video, and, uh, and I was listening to Bart Sibrel at the Costa Coast, and so I went to YouTube to watch about uh, the, the video, and um, I tried to remember, but I think I find a few videos of Mark saying then it's not a hoax, you know, like many other people. And I think from there something happened, I think, because I watched uh, your video and something about Flader, and I started to watch the clues, and with the clue for me was enough. The next day I said, okay, it was like drinking a glass of water, say, it's flat. There's no, no, the stage. And after I, I watched the uh, one group of uh, Eric Bay, uh, Mark Powerglass, yeah. and now, now every day is more and more, and more, and more. but yeah, that's one of The first time that I was introduced to the Flat Earth was when I saw Crow Triple Seven, well, heard Crow Triple Seven on the higher side chat, and Crow Triple Seven was kind of complaining about these Flat Earth people who are part of them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I was like, well, that kind of piqued my interest because I had a moment even before all this started where I was starting to look at certain things like I was I was um, on Mount Hood at Timberline Lodge and I could see Mount Shasta. Yeah. And that's on a little birth, that's hot. There's a lot of curvature between Mount Hood and Mount Shasta. Yeah. So it, that wasn't adding up, so I was really receptive to it. Um, so, yeah, so the next thing I think I heard, uh, I watched Mark's uh, clues, which were a good introduction. And then soon after, uh, Pro Triple Seven did that interview. <laughs> on the higher side chat to do the interview with Eric DeBay, which was a really awesome mm -hmm. uh, interview. Yes. Yeah. So, and, and after that, it was, it was, um, you know, I got, this is the journalism, a lot of, a lot of, a uh, wiki wiki, Mark Knight, and all those guys. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's kind of Very nice. And now we have Tim. Right, my 12 step. Thanks so much. So I was doing radio uh, with this guy, Terrell of Three, Black Morph Star, uh, also known as Planet X. I was all in. And um, then I saw on the YouTube. Uh, something about flat earth and I said well I'm just going to kill this like a 20, sec 20 minutes because I knew all about the, the incoming uh, Black Dwarf Star right so I um, look at Matt, Matthew Powerland saw his interview with his girlfriend uh, he said it was inside he was drawing these things I said that can't be then I went to a flat earth conspiracy Eric Dubay which really locked me in but then I said this cannot be you, you try to shake it because you just, you just, your mind. And then I got uh, Mark Sargent's Flatter Clues on there. And that was it, as a headshot. It was all over. <laughs> so I was a flat earther in like four hours, three hours, four hours. It was all over. And then I started talking that stuff. Flat Earth on my radio show that was into my radio show. I, no. Yeah. Oh. They won't let you talk. There's a lot of stations like that. No. They won't yeah. let you. It's nice to know the truth. Yeah. It's flat.